Greetings friends, it's Joy with Long Live the Kings. Today I'm here on the Skokomish River and this is one of the rivers your fish may migrate from and survive the sound. We're going to take a little tour today of key habitat components that are necessary for both young and adult salmon alike to thrive. Regardless what river your Survive the Sound fish originates from, habitat, high quality habitat is essential for their well-being and survival. So today is a beautiful sunny day and I'm all bundled up and standing in the shade on the banks of the Skokomish River. This is a component of habitat that salmon really thrive in, a heavily vegetated shoreline. You can see that I'm in the shade, which keeps me cooler, but also keeps the water temperature cooler, which salmon prefer. It also provides cover from predators, such as eagles, and it also, from the treetops you can see here, insects can fall into the water, which quickly become a tasty little treat for the salmon to munch on. Yum, 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 yum. Debris like this tree here that has fallen over the bank of the river also serves a similar function as the vegetation that's growing along the bank, which is that it provides both shade and a little refugio where salmon can just take a little rest on their migration out. Here's another example of some large woody debris in the water. This has created a pool which is about 10 to 15 feet deep is another key component for healthy habitat because it provides salmon a place to rest, to feed, to hide from predators, and also it's when they're adults, they typically spawn downstream of these deep pools. Healthy habitat features also include side channels. It's important that streams are complex with a variety of features and small channels like this one over here for fish to eat, hide, and grow at all stages of their lives. A small side channel like this slows the flow of water to provide a resting place for fish and can also offer an additional place to forage for food. And in an area like this little riffle, the water's velocity is accelerated. So this can pick up small insects off of the gravel bottom and deliver them to hungry mouths waiting downstream. It also oxygenates the water, which in turn gives the fish a nice deep, fresh breath of air. And tributaries are another really important piece of habitat. This one behind me is pretty small, but yet it still provides an influx of cool, fresh, oxygenated water into the river. This is typically a place where fish can rest and have a nice big deep breath and then meander on their way and migrate on out. Okay, greetings again, friends. Now we're out on Hood Canal in our trusty uh, kayak. And we're going to paddle up into the estuary of the Skokomish River and um, just explore the habitat out here. So off we go on an adventure. Woohoo! Okay, friends, so we made it to the mouth of the Skokomish River, and here we are in the estuary. The estuary is where the fresh water meets the salt water and it's a very important place for juvenile salmon as well as the entire ecosystem. You can see that there's a small side channel there behind me as well as lots of woody debris. Now the estuary is so important because as juvenile salmon are migrating out and into the salt water, their bodies are experiencing a tremendous change. The salinity of the salt water is obviously a much different chemistry than the fresh water. And so an estuary provides a refugia for the fish to not only transition to the salt water, but also to rest, to forage, and to gain some strength for their long journey out to the ocean. Here in the estuary, many animals feast on the wealth of biomass and food that's available, including juvenile salmon. Here they can eat zooplankton, shrimp, other small fish, as well as insects. 
Now there are many predators who are also here feasting on the juvenile salmon, including seals and sea lions, as well as many birds from eagles to herons, cormorants. Um, I just watched a kingfisher swoop down and take a teeny tiny fish. So there's a lot going on here in this estuary. It's an incredibly crucial piece for a healthy ecosystem, as well as a crucial piece for a healthy salmon. So thank you again for joining me for this little tour of the habitat for all the cycles and stages of salmon and to understand now that they really are all important. We need an interconnection of healthy habitat for the survival and well-being of our salmon.